Hello friends. Today we're going to look at this very strange thing that I found at a thrift store. This is a Coleman multifunctional TV lantern. We've got a lantern at the top. As you can see I paid $2.99 for it or with discounts about $2.60. We have this little tiny CRT. Here is from the side with the nameplate. We go up here, see more details of the lantern itself. And then on the other side, we've got something that looks like more of a camp light or uh, these are a couple of fluorescent tubes that fold and swivel in all different ways. So I bought this for a multiple reasons, the most compelling of which is that it was only $2.99 so you can't go too wrong with that. By any way of looking at it this would be considered e-waste for anybody else. Uh, in fact you wonder why anybody would sort of want something like this in the first place but I happen to know since we did a lot of trailer camping when I was a kid that this seems to be a compact unit that serves multiple needs and maybe the smallest possible space. So we've got a very small TV here, about the size of my hand. Got an AM FM radio, lantern, the fluorescent lamp that I just showed you. Got this little storage compartment which I think more than anything is just kind of a use of some extra volume that they had. Not that you really need that. Uh, carrying strap. And the big question to me is, why would you build all this into one unit? Uh, one thing, it might be easier to manage this as a whole is, you know, you want to go to the bathroom, you take your lantern, you want to watch TV, you do that, you put up your fluorescent bulbs, whatever you'd want to do. But probably the big compelling reason for this, if there is one, is right here in the bottom where we've got space for eight D batteries one and a half volts each that turns out to be 12 volts in series this is a 12 volt unit here it says it was manufactured in March of 2003 so to put that in perspective we were still in the era when uh, low def TV was common and you could just get that off the air directly with a CRT type television. You can power any of these things from the same set of batteries, don't have to mess with multiple sets of batteries. It's even got a siren I just noticed. Weather radio, tuning knob. This is function knob up here some kind maybe that's brightness on the light lantern and one important feature over here some more switches is this is a 12 volt input so that makes sense with a fact of uh, standard 12 volt car batteries Let's say there was some sort of a cigarette lighter adapter that went with this and there may have been a power pack that you plug into 115 volts if you've got that at your campground or whatever um, External antenna that that can be helpful on top of your RV or whatever you get a better signal back then so This has a purpose whether or not it was a market success. I don't know but uh, Honestly, it seems a little bit odd and eclectic to me but for my purpose as a salvage person this attracted me because of uh, several things one it's just kind of cool and for three dollars you're gonna have fun taking it apart so that's that's a sell right there I didn't think about this for 10 seconds when I bought it so I'm not going to put batteries in here, that would cost more than the $3. But it's easy to hook this up to a power supply, which I'm going to be doing shortly. 
we can try out all the features have no idea if it works yet um, and then ultimately what I'll end up doing since this doesn't have any purpose in my life I'll be taking it apart but there's something I know about this from just the features the CRT tube and the fluorescent lights that this has some kind of converter in it that converts from 12 volts DC to some high voltage that's needed by both of those two elements. Since this is from 2003, that was before LED lights had come in. This is a normal incandescent bulb from that era. Fluorescent lights, today these would all be LEDs. And I can even imagine a modern unit that has all of these elements, maybe with modern components, LEDs, LED tube, you know, smaller, less power, probably still runs on 12 volts to work with the car. We may do some research to figure that out later, but uh, that's what we're looking at right now. So let's work on getting it hooked up and see what happens. Get this hooked up to my lab power supply. Use one of these uh, connectors that you sometimes see on the multi-voltage wall adapters. This has a uh, charge setting so that makes me think that it was designed to be used with NICAD batteries where it could be charged from uh, whatever power source that's greater so you wouldn't have to replace the batteries all the time. So let's turn it on and see what happens. Here's 12 volts. Here's something that sounds like the radio. Let's see. We'll tune to, it says FM. And radio here. I would think we'd be able to get a station. I'm down in the basement, so signal may not be all that good down here we don't have any luck there or there we'll turn that down okay none of those settings are working let's try the TV so we're off and now we're TV tube come to light oh hey that's pretty good we've got a flicker oh I might have been on the wrong setting for FM so this is two different TV settings in this area we have channel 9 so I see something that looks like channel 9 coming through I also have channel 5 and 4 We've got 12 volts and about 0.6 amps, so that's maybe 7 watts or so. I'm going to turn off the TV now, try out the lantern and lamp part of it. Okay, that's good, that works. Seems to be off. Here we've got what I think are your choice of one or two fluorescent bulbs. So let's see, there's one. You can see a uh, one and two there. So let's try two. Sure enough. So this appears to be a fully functioning unit and the problems the reason that it got sent back probably is just because it's hopelessly obsolete in a lot of ways. In particular the television is kind of useless since all broadcast television is now high def and you need to carry along a converter which doesn't make sense and it's black and white anyway so anyway this is really nothing more or less than an obsolete unit although I can see it might have some benefit for the other elements the radio and the lights and so on and even the storage. Well, 
Well, I got the television function going. Uh, needed a source of low def signal. It turns out I had cable running into this room. And so what I came up with is kind of a quick um, antenna solution. I put an alligator clip to the center of the cable and I tried different things including a direct connection to the antenna but the thing that worked the best was this wrapping around in kind of a spiral of the uh, alligator clip around the antenna and I got a kind of a snowy picture so that's probably the signals fault more than the televisions but anyway it does prove that it does work uh, and also while we're at it let's do the siren function turn up the sound a little bit so the radio function also works um, my cable antenna thing seemed to have helped for that cable TV antenna. No wonder CBS customers are better than most. Let's do a quick experiment to see if taking that off causes it to go worse. Free prescription savings review at CBS. Savings vary. Not all patients eligible for savings. Ask pharmacist for details. Weekends on the Wolf are sponsored by Brown and Crouppen. I think in my in my previous video I was on the uh, weather function here. And probably not tuned to the station there might be only one or two available and again the basement may be a problem so overall we're gonna say this thing works completely and the reason somebody threw it out is just the obsolete nature of it particularly the television function as you can tell I got the weather function going I ended up uh, pulling out the antenna all the way, which I hadn't done before. This ends part one of our exploration of the Coleman Multifunctional TV Lantern. Hope you've enjoyed it. We found out that uh, it works, does everything it's supposed to do. And now, in part two, I hope you'll watch that. We will tear it apart and see what kind of cool stuff is inside. Thanks and bye-bye.